so here's the mixture and I also let it sit for well like four hours because I've been in a meeting um, and I didn't get to finish this in time but you at least want to let it sit for like 10-15 minutes because you want the vitamin C to absorb into the shampoo. That way when you put it into your hair, you can really scrub it in and that way you also don't get like a crust of the vitamin C and a crust of the shampoo that don't absorb into the cuticle. So the reason I'm doing this is I'm getting married and I have to take my engagement pictures and things like that soon and I can't have purple hair for that. So here's the current um, color we are at. So if you can see, I've got some regrowth happening here and um, some wild hair. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put this in. And I like to stand inside my shower to do this because it is a little sloppy and a little bit messy. And I'll show you guys that as well. But I'm going to go ahead and start doing that because I have a limited amount of time. One more quick note, if you do want to put um, this in using a brush, like a um, hair coloring brush, you sure can. I don't think it's necessary. This is not going to hurt your hands. This is just regular clarifying shampoo and vitamin C. So what I do is I put it all in my hair dry and this is just my way you can dampen your hair first and then put it in. For me because I have such thick hair when I put it in dry it gives me a better idea of the outcome and how much product I have and where it's going and things like that and where I need to spread it to. So then I just scoop up the tap water and put it into my hair until I get it all saturated and everything's covered then I'm going to leave this on for about 30 minutes maybe longer and just have it up just make sure you don't get so drippy that you are dripping all over your clothes and things like that and it gets all messy so that's what you don't want to happen so I will come back once I have rinsed all this out and waited the time and we will see how much of this purple comes out I also have a couple of other ways to take out purple. I'm just going to go ahead and do all the ways um, until it's out. And um, so that way you guys will have a series of all the different types of hair removal that aren't bleach. So here's my first one. And as always, have a magical day. And I'll see you in the next part. Alright guys, so here we are after my shower and rinsed it all out. And all you do is rinse it like normal hot water and then condition and let it run for as long as you can without and then until it's clear. So this is it and it made quite a lot. So you can see um, some of the blonde coming through which is from the bleach from before. So I think it'll probably go back to a light yellow color when I'm done. So and I hope you like this tutorial. There are many, many, many more to come while I try to process this out of my hair and get back to a little hair color for the wedding. So thank you all so much for watching and as always, have a magical day. Bye!